Welcome back everyone to Appetizer Day. I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate Tex-Mex cheese dip. We're going to make it all in one pan. That's pretty famous where you just put it all in there and then put it in your oven, heat it up, stir it up, and scoop it up. <laughs> Y'all ready? Let me show you how we're going to put this together. All right, we're going to go in with a thing of Jimmy Dean sausage. It's a breakfast sausage. It's already seasoned up. It's one pound. We're going to brown this up until it's no longer pink. Now you can use ground beef if you want to do that, or you can use chicken, or you can use like steak. And I would season it up with some taco seasoning. You want to make sure that whatever meat you use for this dip, that it is cooked through. All right, if you're a regular to my channel or if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by to watch me make this ultimate Tex-Mex dish. Now I'm using a 9 by 13 baking tin. We're going to go ahead and drain the sausage and place it in there. Just put it in the corner right there. All right, we're going to chop up an onion really quick here. It's got a medium red, or you can use a yellow onion, a white onion. This will show off a really pretty good color. Just cut it in half. Follow the lines. We're going to dice it small. So keep your slices pretty small. I'm going to do the whole onion. Just turn it around. Run your knife through. That's the size we're looking for right there. Oh yeah. Looks good. All right, let's put this into our pan. Okay, we're going to put in one block of cream cheese. This is one of the ingredients that's gonna make this ultimate. I'm just gonna cut it into slices. It'll help melt it better and faster in the oven. We're gonna place this right in the center. I've got 10 ounces of Rotel tomatoes and all that is is diced tomatoes and green chilies. We're gonna add that. We're gonna add eight ounces of a Mexican four cheese. And what this is, is shredded cheddar, Monterey Jack, queso quesadilla, and asadera cheese. All right, what we're gonna do is chop up some green onions into here. Let's put it right here. I'm just using an herb chopper, or you can just slice them. All right, we're going to be cutting up eight ounces of some Velveeta cheese, and I'm just going to cube it. This is a really creamy cheese. It'll really help give it that creaminess for sure. Another ultimate ingredient. All right, let's put this into our pan. Oh my, look at that. The smells already is amazing. All right, I'm going to add just a little bit more diced tomatoes. Now I've drained it. All right, we have some pickled jalapeno slices. So we're gonna add that right in the center. My husband will be happy. Woo, there we go. All right, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of taco seasoning across the top. This is my homemade blend, or you can just use a package from the store. That's good, we don't wanna overdo it. All right, one tablespoon of some minced garlic. 
We'll pop that around. We're going to add some milk and just pour it over. Give it a little moisture. We're going to place this in the oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes until everything is nice and melted and ooey gooey. Now I'm going to come back and show you how we're going to finish this off. Alright, this just came out of the oven at the 30 minute mark. Look at that. We're going to stir this all together. It smells amazing. Oh, look at that. Mm, mm. We're going to serve it up with some scoops. I'm getting ready for my bite right now. There we go. Just see that cheese pull. All right, make sure y'all blow on that. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is delicious. Mm. Set that out. Set a whole bowl of scoops out or other tortilla chips, Fritos. Just go in. All right. That's perfect for game day. For gatherings oh just make it just because you'll want to right all right give me a thumbs up make sure you comment down below what is going into your Tex-Mex cheese dip if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification that way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted I'll see y'all oh yeah on the next episode <laughs>